Hello boys and girls and welcome to another mathematics class. Today we will look at comparing numbers. But before we get started, we're going to do some drills. Let's count to 20 in twos, starting with zero. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Excellent. Now let's count backwards or let's count down from 20 to 0. Counting in twos 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Excellent job. Now let's count to 40 in fives. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Great job. Now here's the real warm up part. Let's count backwards from 40 to 0 in fives. Are you ready? Let's go. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 0. Excellent. Now let's look at some of our vocabulary for today. We have less than, greater than, and equal. And we have symbols to go along with them. Less than. This is the less than sign. Then we have greater than, and we have the equal sign. Now joining us would be Al the Alligator. And he is going to teach us everything we need to know about less than and greater than. But let me tell you a little bit about my friend Al the Alligator. Al the Alligator is very, very greedy. He looks for the greater number and he always opens his mouth and eats that greater number. So let's see if we can help Al the Alligator find the greatest number. Let's look at one and five. Which number is greater? Which number is more? Is it the value of one or is it the value of five? Think about it. Which one is greater? One or one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what our friend Al the Alligator says. He's looking and there it goes. He's going to chum up the five. Five is greater than one. Or we can say one is less than five. We also have 54 and 47. Which number is greater? We have a 5 in the tens place and we have a 4 in the tens place. Therefore, 54 is greater than 40. Seven. Now, what are we going to do here? We have the number eight and eight. Exactly. They are both of the same value. So, therefore, we should put equal. Eight is equal to eight, it is the same. Let's move on to 
95 and 99. These numbers look similar. There's a 9 in the tens place and a 9 in the tens place. So let's look at the ones place. Here we have the 5 and then we have the 9. So we know 9 is greater than 5. Therefore, 99 is greater than 95. So we can say 95 is less than 99. Very good. Let's read our word problem. There are 14 children on the park and 41 children on the beach. Use the symbols less than, greater than, and equal to compare the numbers. So first let's write down these numbers. How many children are on the park? 14. How many children are on the beach? 41. Once again, these numbers look similar. So, let's look at the tens place. We have a one in the tens place and a four in the tens place for 41. One in the tens place for 14. Four in the tens place for 41. Therefore, we can say that 14 is less than 41. Thank you so much for visiting and paying attention. I hope that you learned a lot and I hope to see you next week. Continue to practice your mathematics.